Hallelujah. Praise God. We made it to the month of June. You know, there were many attacks. There were many uh, accidents that could have happened. There were many things that could have derailed us from the path of the goodness of God. But we made it to the month of June. Praise God. I just feel uh, someone should just give a good praise dance to the Lord there and say, Thank you, Lord, for keeping me uh, the last first five months of this year. Thank you, Jesus, for preserving our lives, preserving our families, our loved ones. Thank you for your mercy and your goodness to us. Hallelujah. Well, I'm really excited about the month of June, you know, but before I, I share what's on my heart for the month of June, just a couple of Bible passages. Um, Isaiah chapter 44, it says uh, from verse 2, This is what the Lord says, He who made you, who formed you in the womb, He will help you. He will help you. Don't be afraid, Jacob. Don't be afraid, Jeshurun, who the Lord has chosen. The Lord says, I will pour water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. I will pour out my spirit on your offspring and my blessing on your descendants. They will spring up like grass in a meadow. One will say, I belong to the Lord. Another will call himself by the name of the Lord. So it's a month of blessing, this month of June. It's a month of entering into more of the greatness and the glory of our God. Hallelujah. And then again, um, Isaiah 45 and verse 8, wonderful passage. He says, You heavens above, rain down righteousness. Let the clouds shower it down. Let the earth open wide. Let salvation spring up. Let righteousness grow with it. For the Lord says, I have created it. Hallelujah. Well, you know, um, preparing for the month of, of June, I, I kept seeing a river. And uh, we're going to see the river of the goodness of God flowing, you know, in the month of June. And the goodness of God is going to bring his glory, it's going to bring his blessing, it's going to bring many unexpected salvations. But as I was looking and I was seeing this river of the goodness of God, I saw the source of it. And, you know, often for, for, for rivers, it's, it's a mountain. And I saw this mountain that was being thawed. And it was being thawed by the prayers and the intercessors of the saints. And so there are blessings flowing because people like you and I have been interceding and praying in the, you know, in the in the metaphorical mountains. Say, Lord, will you will you thaw? Will you thaw the, the iciness of the mountains? And will you let your blessings come? And June is going to be a, a great month of blessing. But also, I saw that part of the the, the mountains and the the, 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 the the there's been threshing going on in the mountains, and part of that is to to do with breaking demonic strongholds, and these are strongholds over territories, over neighborhoods, but also over individuals. Yes, over individuals. But Father, I thank you for the intercessors of your saints that are breaking the strongholds of mountains, that are breaking the strongholds of the enemy, and are causing there to be a release of the blessing in the name of Jesus. You know, even as it was with Daniel where, hey, the prince of Persia had, had withstood the angel that was to come to bring the blessing. So the blessing will flow in the month of June. I see vindication flowing for somebody in the month of June. Hallelujah. Also, I see, like I said earlier, that there'll be salvations, people that you've been praying for for years and for decades, some just for a few months, but people you've been praying for for a long time. And you've almost, you're almost just praying in, in autopilot now, but the Lord says they're going to be unexpected. You've been expecting, you've been praying for faith, but just like Sarah, when the blessing came, she laughed, and, oh, is it really here? There will be salvations and there will be deliverances in the month of June. Hallelujah. And then the Lord took me to Haggai 2, 8 and 9, and verse 6, uh, from 6 to 9, you know, in the book of, book of Haggai, you, you know, where, where the Lord says, he said, hey, hey, the glory of the latter house will be greater than the glory of the former house. And in this place, I will bring my blessing, says the Lord. I will bring my glory. I will release my goodness, says, says, says the Lord. Hallelujah. So it's, it's, a, it's a combined blessing that Haggai speaks of. It's, you know, literally in the original text, He's speaking of the, the, the blessing of, of finances, financial resources, and that will be part of it. Um, I found in Haggai 2 6. It says, This is what the Almighty says. Yet once again, I will shake the heavens and shake the earth, and I will fill this house with glory. And part of that glory is to do with money, but it's not just about money. It's about the invasion of the tangible glory of God, the Shekinah glory of God. I believe we're going to see it in the month of June. 
you, you, you know, I'm, I'm hosting a conference, you, you, you know, in, in, uh, in England, I'm hosting a conference June 23rd, 26th, titled the Glory Feast. But there's so many glory conferences, you know, going on around the season because the Lord says, I am about releasing, I'm about releasing my glory, says the name of the Lord, says the Lord. I'm about releasing my glory. Father, I thank you for the river that is flowing in the month of June, the river of your goodness, the river of your provision, the river of your protection, the river of your glory, the river of healings. I see healings taking place in the month of June. So I want you to be encouraged, hallelujah, as you enter this month of June, as you step your foot into the river. Now, this is what we need to do. We need to make sure that we are in the river of the flow of the Spirit of God. We need to make sure that the little foxes that may spoil the vine, the little things, the heart attitudes, the things aren't right, we need to make sure we get rid of them. We need to, for some of us, we may need to go on a fast for the first few days. Some of us may need to go on a fast, not from food, but a fast from telly. Some of us may need to just spend extra time away with the Lord so that you enter the month of June. It's very key now, June 1, 2, and 3. Enter the river of the flow of God in the month of June. Enter with the right heart. Are you with me? You haven't read your Bible for a few days? Pick your Bible up. You haven't prayed in the Spirit for, for a few days? Begin to pray in the Spirit. You haven't spent time in soaking worship? Put on the soaking worship. If there's any relationship that you need to repair, repair the relationship because you want to be in the flow to be able to receive maximally the flow of the river of God's goodness in the month of June. I'm praying for you as I know you pray for me. God bless you. Shalom.